Okay, and just in a kind of a, an effort to wrap up uh, the first couple of videos, what I wanted to do is just a quick video to go through a few key definitions to make sure you guys are 100% clear on exactly what I've been talking about in the previous ones, okay? So the first thing is the definition of goods. Goods are physical objects that are capable of being touched, i.e. they are tangible, okay? So I can touch a laptop, I can touch a chair, I can touch a can of soda. That's the definition of goods. Services, on the other hand, and you'll all Often hear me just say goods and services and sometimes um, you'll just see teachers writing on the board G plus S and they mean goods and services. Services on the other hand are intangible things that cannot be touched. Okay so a haircut is a service. Now you can understand that okay what does the barber have if he's cutting a guy's hair for example. You know scissors, uh, he's got the blade like the razor all that kind of stuff you're sitting on a chair. Okay that's fine they're goods but the service that's being provided is something that can't be touched. You cannot touch a haircut. You can touch your hair in the process of having a haircut but you cannot touch your haircut car repairs now anything that the mechanic may use may any parts that the mechanic may use to add to your car or replace uh, something that's broken in your car of course that's a good that's fine I'm, nobody's disputing that but what we're saying is the actual service he's the the mechanic is providing a service for you and that service of a car repair cannot be touched and then private tuition if some of you guys are um you know struggling hopefully you're not and hopefully these videos help but if some of you guys are struggling with certain things in 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 economics or in any other subject that you're doing and um, and you can get yourself a private tutor the 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 provision of the service of the tuition cannot be touched so therefore it's a service okay and both of these things and we've talked about scarcity we've talked and we're going to talk more and more about the idea of production the importance of production incredibly important when we produce a good we're producing something physical when we're producing a service we're producing something intangible that cannot be touched okay now <clears throat> excuse me the idea of wants. Well, wants are things that we would like to have but are not essential to our immediate survival. And when you think about the very few things that we actually need in order to survive as a species, um, you'll realize wants are absolutely huge and make up the vast majority of people's purchases, uh, particularly in, in well-developed countries. Okay, So wants things that we would like to have but are not essential to our immediate survival, laptops, phones, TVs, that kind of stuff. I mean, they're nice, they're good, I enjoy using all of those three examples, but I certainly don't need them to survive, okay? Um, um, there are other things such as needs, and these are things that we must have in order to survive, okay? So food, clothing, shelter. I don't think there's any um, um, disputing uh, what we've just said in those key definitions here. And then the last one I will say is resources. Resources are goods, um, that are used to produce other goods okay now what we will come to um is is a number of videos called uh, the factors of production production wealth right now we've already said that the more that is produced the more, the better off we are and there's a whole series of videos following this one and um, going to try to illustrate and explain um, what I have just said and um, that production is real wealth in an economy and we will go through the reasons why but um, what we're saying is land labor capital and enterprise are the factors of production and they are the things that are used to produce the goods and services that you and I enjoy. Now, that's what resources are. Now, forgive me, just to be very, very quick, I'm going to go uh, through these um, again. Goods, physical objects that are capable of being touched. Services, intangible things that cannot be touched. Both of those make us better off because the more goods and services that you have available, the richer you are in a material sense. Okay? Once, things that we would like to have but are not essential to our immediate survival. Needs, things that we must have in order to survive. And resources are goods that are used to produce other goods. Now, I mean, enterprise, I mean, there are things maybe might be a better way, but I think it's just good to keep it simple. Things that are used to produce other, other goods or services. Because don't forget, um, there are businesses out there that produce services, like the, the, the barber's example, the mechanic's example. So it doesn't have to be goods per se, and they don't have to produce goods, because enterprise is not a good. Uh, we'll talk more about that later. Enterprise is the idea and the ability to coordinate the other factors of production in order to produce goods and services. Okay, but what resources are is you know, uh, human effort, natural resources, uh, man-made things, um, and, and the idea of enterprise that are used to produce the goods and services that you and I enjoy.